What John? What Robert? Quickly, quickly, it's the puff basket I warrant. What Rob and I say? Oh, come, come, come. Here, set it down. Give your men the charge. We must be brief. Mary, as I told you before, John and Robert, be ready when I suddenly call you. Come forth and without any pause or staggering, take this basket upon your shoulders. That done, trudge with it in all haste and empty it in the muddy ditch close by the temp side. <laughs> I have told them over and over. They lack no direction. Be gone and come when you are called. Oh, look, here comes little Robin. Oh, now, my baby bird. What news with you? My master, Sir John, is coming at your back door, Mistress Ford, and request to come. Oh, you little hobbit, have you been so true to us? I will be sworn. My master knows not of your being here, and I've threatened him to put me into everlasting liberty if I tell you of it. For he swears he'll turn me away. Thou art a good boy. The secrecy of thine shall be a tailor to thee, and shall make thee a new doublet and hose. I'll go hide me. Do so. Go tell my master I'm alone. Mistress Page, remember your cue. I warrant, if I do not act it, kiss me. Go to them. <laughs> we'll use this gross, watery pumpkin. We'll <laughs> teach him to know turtles from jades. <gasps> <laughs> Have I caught thee, my heavenly jewel? <laughs> oh, why let me die, for I have lived long enough. This is the period of my ambition. <laughs> oh, sweet Sir John. Mistress Ford, I cannot cog, I cannot prate. Mistress Ford, I would make thee my lady. I, your lady, Sir John. Alas, I should be a pitiful lady. Let the court of France show me such another. I see how thine eye would emulate the diamond. The beauty of thy brow would become any attire of Venetian admittance. A plain kerchief, Sir John. My brows become nothing else, nor that well neither. By the Lord, thou art a traitor to say so. Come, thou canst not hide it. Believe me, there is no such thing in me. What made me love thee? Let that persuade thee there's something extraordinary in thee. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress Ford, I cannot cog and say thou art this and that. I cannot. But I love thee, none but thee, and thou deservest it. Do not betray me, sir. I fear you love Mistress Page. Oh! <laughs> Thou might as well say, I love to walk by the reek of a lime kiln. Oh! <laughs> well, heaven knows how I love you. You shall one day find it. Ooh. Mistress Ford, Mistress Ford. There's Mistress Page at the door, sweating and blowing and looking wildly, and would need to speak with you presently. She shall not find me, or ensconce me behind the heiress. Pray you do so. She's a very tattling woman. <laughs> Reasonable stature. He may creep in here and throw foul linen upon him as if it were going to wash it. 